Hi, Mike here. Thanks for stopping by our Trawler Buyers page. Today we're going to talk a little bit about trawlers. Trawlers uh, basically began about 30 years ago with the conversion of some commercial fishing vessels into pleasure boats. I knew of one of those up in the Carolinas. An old shrimper converted his shrimp boat to a pleasure boat and that's how it all began. Basically trawlers are boats with uh, long deep keels, uh, boats that cruise at about 10 knots, boats have got large panoramic uh, windows for good visibility down below, large fuel and water supplies, and basically every convenience that you'll find on any any vessel out there. Just real, real good, good boats for, for cruising. What's the difference between a trawler, a motor yacht, and a cruiser? Well, trawlers typically have smaller engines, whereas motor yacht, yachts have larger engines to give more speed. Trawlers are built for 8 to 10 knot cruising speeds, whereas motor yachts and cruisers typically run anywhere from 17 to 22 knots. Trawlers obviously burn much less fuel, 5 to 7 gallons an hour compared to 15 to 20 gallons an hour. Uh, trawlers are typically more suited for long-range cruising. Uh, cruisers are generally not equipped with large storage capacities, either fuel, water, or, or dry goods for that matter, uh, or basically more suited for a weekend getaway rather than a long-term passage. In addition to the features I just mentioned, uh, there are some additional features about trawlers that you need to be aware of as well. Most of these boats were embellished with teak, even down below decks of the engine rooms. Teak is resistant to rot. The slow RPM diesel engines put in these boats uh, will last longer than you and I, typically producing anywhere from 10 to 20,000 hours of use before any serious work is needed uh, on them. There's a very high resale market on these boats. It's a tight market on trawlers. Unlike cruisers and motor yachts, the trawler market exceeds the supply. If you look on the internet, I can find approximately five times more motor yachts on the market at any given time than I can trawlers. Now, when choosing a trawler, there are a couple things regarding hull design that you need to be aware of. Trawlers come in two types, a full displacement and a semi-displacement hull. Displacement hulls are generally found on ocean-going vessels. Uh, these hulls typically carry more payloads due to their design. Um, the hulls do not plane and power is directed to pushing the hull rather than raising it. Uh, hulls are typically rounded which produce a, a softer ride. Uh, trawlers that have the full displacement hulls would be the Nordhavens, the Katie Krogans, uh, some Hatteras LRCs and others. A semi-displacement hull combines the round bottom forward and the flat bottom aft. Our trawler, the Patricia Ann, that we're standing on now is a semi-displacement uh, boat. Uh, as the boat moves in the water, the hull partially rises out of the water. You really can't sense it. You can't see it, quite frankly. Uh, but these hulls give a, a little bit more speed, but could sacrifice a softer ride. Most of these hulls are really not suited for any serious blue, blue water crossings. Uh, most of the trawlers you find on the market are, in fact, semi-displacement boats. There are five styles of trawlers that you need to be aware of. We've got photographs of each of these styles in the text down below of this video. The first is a trunk style. This is the classic as we call it. It's a double cabin trawler. Uh, you may find a three stateroom tra uh, trawler in some of these. They've got wide walk around decks that go completely around the boat. Uh, they sit low in the water. Uh, typically the fly bridge is up about three steps from the trunk deck. Uh, most of these boats have a traditional mast uh, with a boom that holds a sail uh, that can be deployed uh, at anchor. Um, nice boats, uh, but the only drawback, it does not allow a place to be when the weather is bad other than being indoors. The sun deck model boat made its appearance in the mid 80s. It, it came from the classic which basically is the aft deck is, is enclosed and covered. Um, these, these boats are great in inclement weather because the aft decks can be fully enclosed with isinglass and canvas. So you basically could, you've got a boat you can be outdoors even in the worst, worst of weathers. If you're an outdoors person, this is the boat probably for you. 
sedan model boat is preferred by a lot of people simply because you've got few steps to climb inside the boat. This is the boat that's basically built on, a, on almost a single level, just a couple of steps uh, to get down into the forward staterooms. The staterooms on these boats are all forward, the galley and salon are all aft. Motors, especially in the northern climates, prefer the pilot house model. The pilot house model features a typically a single helm which is, which is completely enclosed. It affords excellent visibility, except you must be inside the boat to run it. There's no, there's no fly bridge. Uh, down in the south, it's not a good seller simply because you must run the heat or the air conditioning at all times while you're operating the boat. Last but not least are our passage makers. These are the boats that are designed and intended for making transatlantic passages. Now, these boats uh, are always full displacement and typically 45 feet or larger. Nordhaven is a, is a classic example of these types of boats. Now, once you've finally decided what's the layout that you think best suits you, what's the right size boat? I always tell folks, buy the amount of boat you need, not the amount of boat you can afford. 30, 35 foot trawlers, mm, fine for day cruising, two people, uh, maybe a, a head in a shower, um, having overnight guests aboard may be difficult. It's great for inland and light offshore use. Uh, this is be analogous to a pop-up camper. 36 to a 39 footer, uh, easy for a, a couple to handle, suitable for light cruising, offshore use, uh, large enough to be cruised comfortably for two people, accommodate a few guests. Think of it as your condo. 40 to 44 foot boat. This boat has the beam and the room is to to accommodate four people at ease. Think of this as your single family home. They have more than enough room to accommodate a lot of people. This is probably the most popular size of trawler in the cruising community. 45 foot and larger, these are your blue water long range cruiser size boats. Think of these as your, as your second home in the islands. Uh, these boats have luxurious accommodations, but come with a handsome price tag. Now let's talk about trawler accommodations. Uh, what's the best uh, for the living part? Most trawlers generally come with two staterooms, maybe three. Uh, one, two heads, salon, galley, dinette. Um, it really depends on what your preferences are. Sun deck models have stairs leading from the salon up to the aft deck. Uh, many have teak flooring on the uh, on the sun deck with a nice oriental rug it looks very nice. Um, staterooms have a variety of storage capacity so be sure that the boat you're looking for has ample uh, storage capacity for, for your needs. Uh, price is not always an indicator as to the storage that you'll find on these boats. Galleys they come in the up and and down styles it really is dependent. It is rare, however, to find a galley up on a sun deck model boat. You can find galleys up on the sedans and on the, the classics. Um, master staterooms, most have separate showers, toilets, vanities. Um, the preference of most people is to have a centerline queen bunk. But once again, they're all different and it just depends upon what you as the buyer is looking for. Uh, we have to look around to find the different ones so you can really get, get a look at all of them before you make your final decision. Last but not least, engines are something that we all are concerned about. There's no shortage of articles written about the advantages of twins versus singles. Uh, my pre preference is in fact twins. Uh, twin gives you advantage of having a, a second get home engine if need be and it makes docking very easy on a twin screw boat. A single engine boat it gets a little better fuel economy, a little less to maintain, but once again it's a little, a little more difficult to, op to, to dock a single screw boat than a, a twin. It's simply a, a personal preference um, and you can't go wrong either way. Now that we've gone through most of the differences between a variety of trawler styles and accommodations, where can you find your perfect boat? Well I recommend a number of sources. If I don't have the right one in inventory I can go out and find it for you through, through my multiple listing service where there are literally thousands of boats on the market available to me. 
go to every marina you can find. Compliment any boater on, on their boat and they'll ask you aboard. Works every if time. you're in the market for a trawler, be sure to take a look at our trawler school. We offer a full one day free course to customers to help you learn more about these boats. We talk in detail about them and we help you understand what we're looking for before we actually set out to find you a boat. Well, thanks for stopping by our trawler page here today. Uh, we hope we've been helpful in, in, in working with you to, to understand a little more about these boats. If there's anything we can do to assist you in finding your boat, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email. Once again, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.